Good morning. It's Monday. As you can see by my CPAP marks, I've just woken up and it's time to do the weigh in. 381.4. Let's fucking go. Last week was frustrating with the knee. Still kind of dealing with it, but I can move around a lot better this morning. I can stand up a lot easier. I think that means I can start working on the cardio a bit more this week. But to be kicking off the week down over four pounds. It's a good start. Uh, well, it's water and probably muscle too, but hey man, it's uh, it's progress. So, pretty stoked. Right on. It is hot as shit out here. Indoors is way smarter today. It's too hot out here. Too hot for a penguin to be just walking around. It's too damn hot for a penguin to be just walking around here. So I wanted to look at sporting goods, but apparently we're... So I thought going for a walk in the mall was a good idea, but it is humid as shit in here. I don't know if it would have made more sense just to stay outside. Me update, I've walked about kilometer and a half at this point. It's hurting a bit to walk on it, but I need to stretch it out and I need to move. Because remember the goal this week is to be hitting 5,000 steps a day, every day this week. I hit 5,000 consistently this week, then we up it next week. Because I need to get up to like 10, 12,000 steps a day. Progress, progress, progress. Just keep moving, do everything we can to make sure the inflammation doesn't kick back in again. Hydration acquired. It dawned on me that I'm super dehydrated. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good about drinking water. Somehow today I have managed to drink less than one liter of water and it is 8 p.m. Hence a uh, BioSteel. If, uh, you know, hit me up. My knee is sore now. I'm going to ice it and I'm going to probably do next to nothing for the rest of the day. I'm back at the mall. Yesterday's walk went so well and it's still humid as shit out here. So I figured why not do it again? I came a bit more prepared this time though. Got my book bag and some water. That way I don't have to stop and buy something to drink. I have water with me. So yay for preparedness. Did that look cool? Quick update on the knee situation. If I had to put a percentage on it, I'd say it's at about 98% right now. Um, standing up is a lot easier, but there's still a little bit of tiny, tiny pain when I get to certain spots. So like when I'm fully extended out to take a step, just a twinge of pain at the end of it, but kind of to be expected. It's a lot easier for me to move around though. So much easier to stand up. I think when I got up this morning, there was like a little bit of pain when I first stood up, but I've got them down a few times now. Hasn't had any problems really. And then even putting on my shoes, when the knee's really bad, I can't reach down to my left foot or even pull my left foot up to, to pull my shoes on, but I didn't have any problems with that today. So that's good. Comment down below if you, if you have an idea what I'm listening to. the feeling like you're being watched like we're being watched <laughs> we started here went down here and went to like here and here went back to here down here and down here down here down here, down here, down here and I'm here So we're close. We got just over another thousand steps to go. We're on the home stretch here. So I think one more lap up to my exit. We'll be good. Does anyone else act like a complete child whenever you get close to automatic doors and try to use the force? 
I'm a Jedi, man. It, uh, it started raining while we were in there. Is my back sweaty? It feels sweaty. It's probably sweaty, right? Yeah, I think it's sweaty. We got, I uh, mean, let's see it. We got just over 5,000 steps already, which is good. And then we'll get more steps for the rest of the day. Cool, rain's great for audio. I, I gotta get, I gotta turn this air conditioner on. It's crazy hot out here. It's, I'm already sweaty enough as it is. This heat is getting crazy. I just sat there for like two minutes and I'm cooked. Okay, so my body is a little sore today. So I need to take a slight change of approach today. I think the problem is two days in a row of going all out and doing all 5,000 my steps at once is just a little too much for my body at the moment. But I think for today I need to just change the approach slightly and space my steps out more throughout the day instead of like knocking it all off in like one go five hours later i've had a pretty busy day and i just haven't really been mindful about recording anything all day long right now i'm at about four thousand steps been moving around doing a bunch of different stuff but i need to get the last thousand in so i'm gonna hop on that for tonight and uh just crush it out fuck that's so stupid so i'm gonna hop on the treadmill so i'm gonna hop on the treadmill and get those last thousand steps in to make sure i hit my five thousand why am i so like dumb sometimes Yeah, these are sick. Comment down below if you think I could rock these. much tell when my wife is with me because we end up in some sort of home decor store and our pace drops to next to nothing. This is why my walk takes an hour and a half and why our walks together take about three hours. Bees! Not the bees! Ah! Can't eat that. 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 This clothes but I can't eat that either. Can't eat that. This is my wife's new favorite machine. They've got a crystal menu. You get mystery crystals. Mystery rough crystals, mystery bracelets. Look, you can manifest. Manifestation. Uh, quick update for Friday. They got away from me and just too busy and stuff. Didn't really get a chance to get in the walk that I'd hoped to. It's like almost midnight right now. And I'm still under 3,500 steps at the moment. We'll see what I can knock out in the next 10 minutes. But that just means tomorrow I'm going to have to add to it. So I have to make, to make sure tomorrow I get like 6,000, 6,500. I definitely don't want two days where I'm under. So I got to compensate tomorrow to make up for today is what it is and just gotta make adjustments all right so i have my work cut out for me today because yesterday i got so few steps i only ended up about 3400 for the day that means today i've got to get 6500 at least to make up for the shortfall of yesterday but the problem with that is that well it's not a problem, but it's a challenge. There's a challenge today. The challenge is that today's my anniversary. One of my wife's favorite things to do is just get driven around. So we're gonna spend the majority of the day on the road and I have to figure out a way to spend the majority of the day driving. And at the same time, I also need to get it on my steps. So like I say, today's a challenge. 
but it's a good challenge. And we're gonna do it. steps left. We're gonna do this. 6,500, here we come. All right, Sunday morning, time to do the weigh-in. Okay, so obviously putting on a little bit of weight isn't ideal. Um, especially with all the work that I did this week. But I think there's a few reasons behind that. Like I said at the end of the last video, last week was a lot of laying down, sitting around. So I think a lot of that weight loss was due to losing water and losing some muscle. This week I've been walking a lot more, moving a lot more. So I think some of that weight gain is down to just water going back into my body and maybe the tiniest little bit of muscle. Another part of that is I've also noticed going over my numbers this week that I had a few days where my sodium was incredibly high. So normally I try to keep sodium between 1,500 and 2,000 milligrams a day. There was three days this past week where that number was way over, two, three, four hundred percent over. So I have to be mindful of my diet a bit more and just kind of go through some of the things I'm having to make sure that that sodium doesn't get cranked up so high because obviously the more sodium I have in my system, and if I'm not balancing it out with enough potassium and magnesium, then, well, the body's gonna hold on to a lot of water. So that's the second reason. The third reason, and this is really just my own stupidity, but last night I had a pasta heavy meal. So throwing out a bunch of carbs late in the day on Saturday when my weigh-in is on Sunday morning was really stupid of me. So be mindful of those three things going forward, as well as continuing the progress with my walking, and as well as what the subject of next week's video will be about. I expect to see some progress next week when we do the weigh-in. Ultimately, I'm not that concerned though, because even though this week there's a pound and a half difference added to the scale, I do notice how clothing are feeling. I'm also noticing how my cardio is feeling. I notice how much more energy I have. So there's positives to take from this. The numbers on the scale are gonna fluctuate a little bit, so I'm not terribly worried about that. As long as I keep putting in the work, keep putting in the effort, the numbers on the scale eventually are gonna change. So even if you're going through the same thing, don't get discouraged if those numbers aren't going exactly the way you want to. If you notice other changes in your body, positive changes, just keep pressing ahead because those numbers are gonna change eventually. So thank you guys so much for checking out this week's video. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell so you get content when the next video comes out. And I will see you guys next Monday. Cheers. <laughs>